Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Factory Town, another episode of my Let's Play series. In the last episode, we got some cloth conveyors set up here. We got some uh, wooden rails up there, and uh, we are going to be making uh, cloaks very soon, which is good because they sell for a lot of red coins, and we do not have a lot of red coins right now. We're just waiting for this cotton to grow, and they are at 89%. So today, as episode, we're probably going to get into metallurgy be the big thing um iron working essentially um, but before we do that there's a few things i just want to i just want to make a couple adjustments so we make planks here let's go in here i think i have a way i know i have a person i have a person that's bringing planks i have two people that are bringing planks okay well individual people uh going with planks is not it's not smart let's get a wagon to do planks instead just that there's a few things like this that I feel like I need to uh, need to step my game up here. So that'll bring the planks over there. We're already we're bringing wood wheels there, but that's a long trip. The wood wheels are coming from there, but that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Um, right here, we need to uh, need to like adjust the chute here. We got to add a chute here. Just some little things like that. I feel like um, I could make my citizens' lives much easier there like that we can do a shoot here oh it's going the wrong way so how do I change that just get rid of the grabber maybe yes and then of course I'll have to tell these people to jump dump in the shoot but that's fine there we go okay the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to step up my research game. So right now I'm just making a paper, right? And bring the paper to the school. But I think I want to do books instead of paper. So let's take a look at the workshop here. Just put a workshop here temporarily, select recipe. So books, they need paper, which I mean, we're making, um, not in great amounts, leather and, or, so paper and leather or paper and cloth. Now it does take more cloth, but cloth's easier to do um, because, I mean, we are doing leather right now. We do have a, a storage barn half full of leather, but you need a pasture for leather and pastures need animal feed, which needs a wheat farm. And that's a whole thing, right? And this, it is kind of working and I'm okay with that. And I don't want to have to mess with it, right? So... With that said, okay, why is this well working so slowly? I feel like she can't make them work any faster. No, anyway. So what I was thinking is maybe put a cotton farm here, buy this cotton, and use this to make books. Right? Well, do we want to? Hmm. Or, or oh, population limit went up because my people are happy. Eight more houses. I do not know where I would put eight, eight more houses. I mean, I could put two here for sure. I guess I could start putting them up here. Where are you going? Oh, right. Sorry. Bringing wood to the kitchen to burn to turn into bread. That makes sense. <laughs> do we want to make bread faster? Nah, it's fine. Oh, why is that log just sitting there? That's not what's supposed to happen. Last I checked. Why? Okay, no, they're working now. Perfect. All right, so. Books. The question is, or I guess um, I could split cotton from here. Or split the cloth. I guess I could just make another workshop. Move this workshop here. Right? Like that. And then like that. Need a splitter there though. We can do a splitter. That's easy peasy. There we go. Get all the Coming in, so we make cloth here. 
cloth from cotton, not cloth from wool. Actually, let's rotate that that way. And then we need another workshop. Um, put it like here. So this will make books. Nice. All right, so you have a new job. You're going to pick up the paper and bring it there. All right, so we need to get the cloth. I don't think cloth goes in a chute, right? No. Cloth does not go in a chute. I didn't think so. So we could have a... I could have a cart run it, or I could have a belt run it, right? So let's... Uh, Let's try something here. Let's do a raised belt. Just in theory. There. Now, if I start doing conveyors here, will let me continue to go in the air? No. So I would have to put the scaffolding all in first, it appears. Yeah. Okay. But what I want to, like, I want to do this in case I need something to go underneath the belt. But I don't know if that's really working, right? Like, can a cart go underneath that? Wood scaffold arch, wood scaffold block. There we go. That's what we need right there. Now I assume they can go underneath. Oh, that's not it. And that's not it, Looch. Is that it? Yes. Okay. And then come this. I don't think I need to go down either. I think it'll actually just work. If I can get it. It needs to go there. All right. So now cloth conveyors. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to need cloth conveyors here. Or you know what? We can do a wagon here. It's a nice short trip. Books into the school. So the reason we did that is, okay, because paper makes one general research point, one experience point, one happiness, right? Books, on the other hand, make 10 research points, five experience points, still only one happiness. But, and they last for longer. So you're getting 10 times as much, right? So that's totally worth it. Like for what, for the, for the amount of effort that was, totally worth it. All right, but I think I'm going to have to put an extra worker in here. Boost that up. Get that going. Keep that flow coming in. And I mean, I could always put a farm here, right? Because we have cotton here. So are we making... I must be making... Yep, I'm making cloaks. Perfect. And I need an extra farmer here, it looks like. Boost that up. Get this uh, cloth being made at a better pace. So I kind of want to, I kind of want to test to see if a cart can actually go under here. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, how can I? I guess I can just wagon, and I can just tell it to go over here. Yes, it can pass under there. All right. So I got to remember I got an unemployed wagon up here. <laughs> so it's waiting for cloth. Which is waiting for... No, it's not waiting for cotton. But if I put an extra worker here, I bet and then it'll be waiting for cotton. How are we doing over here? Oh, all kinds of cloth there. Am I okay with this pace? I think so. Oh my god, yeah, I got a lot of research points now. So let's research. Let's do civics first. Uh, give us extra houses. Not that, we, not that we need extra house capability. Um, and then we'll do... What's the laboratory? Oh, that's where we make more advanced books. Or we can do metallurgy, boat building, basic medicine. See, basic medicine research needs natural knowledge tomes. 
and that's where they're made in the laboratory. So let's actually, let's do coin boosters first. So what coin boosters are, so they're new recipes. So let's go look at, let's say this kitchen, for example. So I have 15K yellow coins right now. So if I put this coin booster in, it's working much faster, right? Now, it cost me 100 coins. So basically, every two and a half seconds, I'm, I'm using a coin, right? Which is what? 12, 24 per minute? 24 per minute? Yeah. 24 coins per minute is nothing, right? Our yellow coins are still going up. So it's a way of boosting up uh, instead of putting a worker in. Now, we could just put workers in because we have 50 free workers under the cap. But that might not always be the case. So it's good to have the option to, to do coin boosters, right? Speaking of coins and how many I have, I think I should buy some extra land here. So what do we got out here? Ooh, that's a lot of herbs. A bunch of sugar. Some potatoes. Right, those are potatoes, yeah. And let's buy this one as well. Okay, got more herbs. Got some pears. Some wheat. A fire temple. Some stone tucked into the corner. We could keep going out. Oh, what do you got down here? Is that gold? No, air stones. Okay. I mean, I could buy this one. It's a pretty big hill, so it's probably not going to be all that useful. Oh, although we got iron here and coal here. Those are fairly close together. So my iron smithing area might be up here. But hey, totally off topic. But if you're enjoying this video, you do me a favor, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, helps me out as a lot as a small YouTuber. Join my Discord. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all of those. Anyway, so. Do I want to start looking at metallurgy, I guess is the question. Or do I want to do these first? Yeah, let's do the laboratory first. So let's get a laboratory down here and see exactly what we need to make these fancy books. So we'll probably need to make more books as well, right? Because I think you need you need basic books for basic knowledge, right? And then you also need books to do these. So the natural knowledge tome needs herbs, herbs, herbs. I never know how to say that. They both sound wrong. You know what I mean in my mouth when I say them. <laughs> and the industrial knowledge tome needs iron plates, obviously. Okay. So, we have herbs down here and here. Neither of those are anywhere near where we're making books, obviously. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a another book maker here, right? Because we got trees and we got cotton. So, we'll turn cotton into cloth, trees into paper, boom, done. And then we'll bring some herbs in as well. And we'll make these fancy books and deliver them to the school. That is my next play, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, and maybe this isn't really necessary, but whatever. All right, so let's see if we can... What's easier, train block down or train flatten down? Block's probably quicker, but flatten's... You don't accidentally go lower than you were, you meant to, <laughs> right? So let's go flatten. I think this height is good. I don't necessarily need to go all the way down to the river height, I don't think. But I do want a nice stretch of land that's at this height. I don't like working with uneven terrain. I don't know why. It's just it's a, little, a pet peeve of mine in this game. Oh, we got all kinds of red coins now. Now that we're making those cloaks, right? It's kind of changed everything. So that looks pretty good. I don't think I missed any there. All right, so let's get a farm. So is this going to automatically get water? I don't think so. If I put it there, it will. I mean, I can just, I can just run a well, right? 
well, it's pretty easy to run a well. So let's plant some more cotton here. Actually, let's plant some farm tiles. Oh, there's some stuff that's not has not been flattened. So I didn't go quite far enough. That's gonna be more than enough cotton. I'll put a well here. G four. Pipe it in. Beautiful. There we go. So we got water going. So we gotta tell it to do cotton. Oh, it's already doing cotton. Yeah, cotton output is full. Okay. So now we need a workshop, right? That there. Shoot this stuff over. And cloth. You need a lot of cloth for a lot of different things in this game. I'm starting to realize. Although I guess the books, I could be using leather instead for books, right? I don't, doesn't need to be cloth. And then we will want a uh, lumber mill. No, you know what? Let's do a forester. I don't want to have to put people. Uh, so forester right about there. There. Where do I want the lumber mill to go? Yeah, right there is good. And then the lumber mill. Be right there. Shoot in between. Oh, I screwed it up. I need a grabber. Boom. Okay. Easy peasy. Paper. So we need a well. That's fine. Uh, of course, I don't need hit F4. You can just do it like this instead, right? There we go. So we got paper being made. So you know what? Let's flip you that way. And then we need the workshop. Make books. So let's get some conveyors here. Boom. Boom. Make some cloth books. Not leather bound books. Cloth bound books. And then where's our laboratory at? Let's pick you up. Drop you right there. And you will make natural knowledge tomes. And you will output that way. We will need a nice road for you to the school. And let's make it too wide, just in case. Shouldn't need it to be too wide. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to have one wagon. I mean, I could run a, a conveyor belt too, but for that distance, I'd rather do a wagon, I think. So now we need to bring in herbs so we will need people for this but we got a couple unemployed people here and i think actually you're unemployed too right yeah because you were harvesting potatoes i should probably I should probably look at increasing my food variety again soon all right so they will come out here for herbs so we will get them just drop them into a barn right and then the question is wagon or a belt probably wagon or do we want to try wooden rail for this let's make a rail let's do a train here like that uh, i don't think that corner didn't work right there we go. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to just... There. There. Okay. 
so you can all be her primers. Okay, so they go into the barn. Oh, I think I need like a rail car still, right? Um, well, rail cars. Wooden minecart. No, it didn't pick up anything. Because I didn't tell it to. <laughs> Herbs. All right. Oh, that is not fast. Pretty sure a wagon is faster than that. Yeah, I think just point to point, this is not all that efficient. Obviously. Do we need to tell it to unload the herbs? We'll find out. So is it going to go back or is it just going to sit there? Also, I, need, I would have to make it circle all the way back. Yeah, you know what? No. <laughs> for for a, a one item one way trip it's just easier to use a wagon. Right? Essentially. Alright, so how do I get rid of this cart? Delete. The delete key is your friend. Alright, so we need a wagon. Might need two wagons, honestly. And you bring them over there. Wait, what's going on? Why? Oh, ah, I forgot to put the conveyor belt there. There we go. So yeah, book's coming in, so we're just waiting for that. Awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so let's uh, let's just pause for a sec. Let's pull back the curtain. These houses are getting pretty high in level. Well, let's check this supply here. All right, so this first one is houses that are actively, like currently consuming the item. And this is percentage of happy houses that are happily supplied with the item. So in a perfect world, you'd have 100% in both. But as long as you have 100% over here, you're doing okay. If you don't have 100% here, then you need to make more of that item. All right, so everybody's getting water. We knew that. Everybody's getting bread. Perfect. Um, cooked beef. They're kind of getting cooked beef, which is fine. Um, apples, they're not getting apples, but it's... <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still even bothering to do this, honestly. That's just kind of... A, that's a luxury item for people right now, right? I'm not... Not going to lose any sleep over the apples. Butter. Ooh. Not quite enough butter. I would rather have more butter. And planks too, for that matter. Wood wheels. Yeah, the wood wheels is because it's a long trip. And where are cloaks? Alright, so we're, it's, it's not 100, but it's close. So I'm pretty happy with that. But look at all the other stuff. And books. Okay, 100% for books. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Obviously, we'll start making some of this other stuff. Do I have... Maybe I need some extra stone brick production somewhere. For butter. Yeah, butter. I'm surprised butter's not. I'm surprised we're not getting more butter. Because, like, we're... We're waiting for water here, of all things. Like, would a second well help? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's working and helping. There we go. Now we're getting more milk. Because the milk's getting piped directly up here, right? So... Should be making a lot of butter. Then we got the cart coming to take it out. All right, considering how many free workers I have, I'm going to put in, I'm going to bring in an extra wagon over here. Let's uh, let's make this road a little better. A little wider there. And you can also take wheels in the general store because those weren't being provided at a good rate. I could also add a wagon for planks, but planks don't 
Banks don't bring in a lot of a lot of stuff, right? So everything's looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, everything's good here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not I made farm blocks and then I forgot to plant cotton. Cuz I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything else extremely obvious such as that. <laughs> All right, so metallurgy. It's a big one coming in. We'll be getting basic medicine soon. Ooh, I just realized I didn't actually assign a cart to this, did I? Did I assign a cart to this? Yes. Pick up these books and bring them to the school. I don't think I assigned anybody. Wait, did I not assign this wagon? Apparently not. <laughs> Probably want more than one wagon for that distance though, right? If we're going to have more than one, we're going to want the road to be too wide. So they don't get in each other's way. Alright, so let's bring in one more wagon here. And you can bring herbs to there. Alright, so we got some of these green books now. But now we're going to have to look at metallurgy. So let's look at the whole process. How... How complicated is metallurgy? Forge. Let's just drop a forge right here for now. Obviously, I'm thinking here, like maybe like right somewhere over here. I don't know. Because, okay, so I got iron here, coal here, iron here. There's no coal. There's coal up here. There's coal up here, but there's no iron. <laughs> the only place we have iron and coal close is here. Uh, well, let's actually, let's buy a little extra property first. Oh, wow, there's not much going on up here. Oh, we got a trading post. So they want, this is what they want. They want bandages, pear jam, and sandwiches. I can make pear jam. Let's buy this. We got some earth stones, tomatoes, wheat, and sugar. I'll go up here. No, again, just no iron and coal close to each other. All right, so let's... Do we even need coal, though? Or does iron and wood work? It would be my question, I guess. No. The answer is no. You don't technically need coal. Wood will work. But obviously, you need iron. So, I mean, we have iron right here, but... <laughs> we don't really have any wood close. Okay, so these two people... Do not need to be doing what they're currently doing. They There was a, a little clump of woods here and a clump of woods here. So I got them to pick up those woods and bring them there. I, that doesn't need to happen anymore. Just like these people don't need to be doing what they're doing. But that's fine because we're, we're about to need um, a bunch of people to harvest iron. So realistically though, I could put a forester here and just run a, run a shoot down, right? Maybe long term we do a uh, we put something we put a forge up and up in there, but right now I'm thinking let's just keep it simple, stupid, right? I don't think it matters that I'm outside my town circle for this. So we need a shoot coming from the forester. Well, we can't because it's on the hill. We need okay. Well, we need to raise up. You put a scaffolding block there. Like so. That doesn't connect, Looch. <laughs> that doesn't work, man. Come on. You're going to have to build some scaffolding blocks here, man. Uh, okay, so... There, that should work. Wait, what happened there? 
Okay, so this grabber has to go there. Um, mm, let's just do plates for now. Should I do nails? Or should I do two? Um. Actually, so let's let's move this like this. No, that's not gonna work. Um. I'm trying to think of a way I can have two of these, but both shoot fed. What if... Okay, let's pause this for a second. Let's think about this. So let's just put a second forge in here. Hey, when I hit... If you, if you type anything in, it starts, like, filtering by that, right? Sometimes you accidentally hit a button, and then you're like, where's that building that I want? Yeah, so I just don't, like, so if I shoot the iron like this and split it, I just don't know how I'm going to get wood to here. I mean, I could put a second forester in and run the shoot in the air. In theory, let's let's test it. Let's find out. Let's find out if that's possible. If that's doable. Good experiment. Good little experiment for everybody here. All right. So all you all can be iron miners. We'll do nails here. So second forester. No, I can't. What if I put it? Like that. Well, let me do that. Well, let me put a scaffolding between them now. Like right here. Does that block it though? Let's find out. We'll find out if it blocks it. Okay, I'm assuming iron is shootable. No, it doesn't block it. We will need a splitter there, though. That's good. That's good. Good to know. So, do I want to put a second forester in here? I'm going to have to run a lot of scaffolding. <laughs> okay, so you can just hold it down. Okay, well, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so, yeah, let's put a second forester in. It's, I mean, it's one worker, right? It's not a big deal. Oh, it needs to go up one, right? Like so. Wait. Got to start flat, I think, right? And then go down one. Like so, that should work. Yep. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, well, the iron's backed up, so... I was going to say, they can't all work on this. It's cramped working conditions for them, but it's working. And that's working. So we got nails, we got iron bars. Perfect. Now, what do we do with them right now? We need to make... Okay, where... Oh, we are making... This is nowhere near where we're making iron. <laughs> that is unfortunate. 
All right. Well, you know what? That sounds like a future Lachera problem. Colonel Lachera is quite pleased with what we accomplished today. We got books on the go. We got fancy green books on the go. We started iron working, right? We're just not outputting it yet, but all we need is a couple little wagons here. I mean, I guess for now I can just sell these, right? Like, give them to my people. Probably be the play for now. But, uh, yeah. That was a pretty pretty solid episode. That, that 35 minutes went by really quick, I feel. Put a couple more houses down, I guess. Right, right there. And we just need to put a couple of uh, blue plate connectors. Beautiful. And yeah, that'll be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.